for some, your motivation may not be as high as usual, but don't let that stop you from achieving success. Hannah Eisen has three simple strategies to help you achieve new goals every day. Hey, it's Hannah from Giving Hope with Hannah, and today I'm sharing with you three strategies to stay successful while in quarantine. One of my favorite quotes is where our focus goes, energy flows, and that's from Tony Robbins, one of my favorite life coaches. So one question I want to ask you today is, what are you going to regret when quarantine is over? My mentor asked me this question a few weeks ago after I lost my job, and I was shocked. What will I regret? <laughs> will I regret spending too much time on social media and Netflix? Or will I look back and think, wow, I use that time amazing. So I'm going to share with you these strategies so that you can look back on quarantine and say, wow, that was a great time of growth for me, and I'm so glad I took the time I did to do these things. For some of us, we have more time than ever on our hands. But for some of other people, we're like stressed out to the max. We have kids at home. We're still working on jobs from home. Plus, you have to cook meals every meal of the day for everyone at home. I get it. But that doesn't mean these strategies won't work for you. You want to be successful no matter what. These are strategies I learned from some of the top mentors in the world. So let's get to it. The first one is write down everything in your mind that you need to get to. <laughs> like whether that's mow the lawn, feed the kids, write that paper for your boss, finish that test for school. Write it all down. Even the simple things like pluck your eyebrows. <laughs> we got to get it all out of our heads. Write it on paper. And then look at that and scratch out anything that you don't need to get done this week. All of it. Mowing the grass, yeah, it might be important, but can you wait two more days to get that done? Scratch it out. And then look over your paper again and scratch out anything that does not have to be done today. Maybe you're going to eat no matter what. You don't need that on your paper. You can scratch that out. So now you should have a much shorter list. You should be down. I do this practice like every day. So once you've got your small list, I want you to pick just three things. Three things that are going to make an impact in your day and make you feel like you got things done. For some people, that might be scrubbing the tub out so you feel like you can relax at night when you take your bath. For other people, that's finishing that massive essay you put off for three weeks. Write that down on a new piece of paper. Flip it over, new notebook, whatever. Write that one down. Get three of these needle movers written down. I'm not saying you're not going to get all this done. I'm not saying don't do any of these things. I'm saying pick the three that are going to make you feel most successful. Once you've got those down on paper, I want you to put them in your book or in your calendar to get done. I like to do this practice the night before but if you're doing this for today, go ahead and do that. Then set a time goal to get it done by. The really cool thing about this is once you've done it, you gain momentum. You're like, wow, yes, I got that done. And you can choose to go to your notebook and pick three more things off of it to get done, or you can just relax for the day and know you're gonna get three more things done the next day. This tool has helped me have massive success that's what got me here right now on TV. That's what's helping me help so many people, especially women that have been rescued from trafficking. That is one of my biggest missions. If you want more tips like this, or you just want to talk to me and be like, hey, Hannah, look, I got these three things done. Tag me at Giving Hope with Hannah. Message me. Let's get to know each other. And I hope this helps you. So re real quick, I'm going to recap. Write everything that's on your head down that you need to get done. Scratch out everything that doesn't need to be done this week or today. Pick three needle movers in your business, in your life, it's something in your school, whatever it is. Three things that you can do today to implement and get done. I hope these tips helped you. And again, if they did and you implement it, tag me at Giving Hope with Hannah.